To write the Lewis structure for BrCl4 minus, we first need to count the valence electrons up. Bromine and chlorine, they're both in group 17, sometimes called 7A. So we have seven valence electrons for the bromine and then seven for the chlorine. We do have four chlorine atoms, so we'll multiply that by four. And this negative sign up here, that means we have an extra electron, an extra negative charge. So we'll add one there. And if we add this all up, we get 36 total valence electrons for the BrCl4 minus Lewis structure. Bromine is the least electronegative. We're going to put that in the center of our Lewis structure. We'll put four of the chlorine atoms around it. Next, we'll put a pair of electrons between the bromine and the chlorine atoms. This will form the chemical bonds. So we've used eight valence electrons. We have 36. Now we'll complete the octets around each of the chlorine atoms. So at this point, each chlorine has eight valence electrons. In that central bromine, it also has eight valence electrons. The problem is we've only used 32 valence electrons. We have 36. So we actually have four more valence electrons we've got to put somewhere. For elements below period three, row three on the periodic table, like bromine, they can have more than eight valence electrons. It's called an expanded octet. So we're going to put valence electrons here on the bromine. There's two, and then we'll put two up here. Let's clean this up a little bit. So now we've used all 36 valence electrons. Each chlorine has an octet. The bromine, that has more than eight. That's okay. It can have an expanded octet. It might be clearer if we replace these bonds with lines. And the lines, they represent this single bond pair of electrons. And we should put brackets around the whole thing because it's an ion. And finally, let's put our negative charge out here. So this is the Lewis structure for BrCl4 minus. If we wanted to figure out the electron geometry for this ion here, we'd count up how many things are attached to this central bromine atom. So we have one, two, three, four atoms, and then two lone pairs. So our steric number is six because we have six things attached to the bromine. Two of those things are lone pairs. Let's look at a chart. So we said we had six things attached to that central bromine. So that means the steric number is six, and two of those were lone pairs. So we come over here and we come down, and we have this square planar molecular geometry. If you use the AXN notation, A is the central atom, the bromine, X, that would be the chlorines, we have four, and then N, that was the number of lone pairs, we had two. And if you look this up, you would find that that's square planar. This is Dr. V with the molecular geometry and the Lewis structure for BRCL4 minus. Thanks for watching.